So basically, I was sitting on my couch trying to figure out what the heck to do because I haven't filmed in a little while. And um, yeah, it's overdue for a video again, like I always am because, you know, I'm slow at that. So I was sitting there like, you know what? Why don't I just make like some educational video, like a uh, rant or something like that for a few minutes, then go to the gym and give some fitness tips, you know? Let people see into my mind. Let people see into the geniusness of Caleb. Anyways, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to set y'all up. I cleared off a whole whiteboard here. Yeah, here, here. Let me set you guys up. All right. See, I cleared off a whole whiteboard. We're getting scientific today. Number one question everyone wants to know is how do you gain muscle? How do you get jacked? So, how to get jacked? And this is... Them. So, first step in getting jacked. Number one, first step, very important. Oh, wait, didn't mean to write that. Hold up. There we go. So, first step to getting jacked is diet, which should consist of food. Make sure your diet consists of food. Food is good for your diet. See? And specifically, Protein. Nice. All right, second step. Right in. See, after you get your diet good, you get your food and your protein, what else do you need? Well, train. And not just like any wuss training. Nah, if you start doing CrossFit, that don't count. You're going to get the opposite of Jack. You're going to get like lazy person. You're going to get fat from CrossFit, bro. So... No CrossFit. No CrossFit. Uh uh. This one's really important. Get hard. Well, cute. I can expound. On, I can expound on this one because it's important. You know. You go meet a girl. You fall in love with that girl. And then all of a sudden, boom! She breaks up with you. Unlimited motivation. You will get insanely jacked. How do you think Kevin Maroney got jacked? How do you think he got so big? How do you think Jay Cutler got so big? His fiance cheated on him. How do you think Sebon got so big? He don't admit it, but it is. Number four. You see, you got this little, little thing here. You see, you got that little thing there, and. You inject it. You inject it, and then you, your muscles go big. Yeah. Oh, that looks a little sus. But you, you get the, you get the point. Anyways, let's get serious though. Number four. Sleep. You must make sure to sleep. If you don't sleep, you're an alien, and aliens do not get much muscle. So, sleep. Anyways, that is how to get jacked. Remember, diet. For diet, you need to have food and you need to have protein. For training, no CrossFit, no CrossFit. Number three, get heartbroken. Important and very important. And four, make sure you sleep at least an hour or two a week. Afterwards, you're good. Alright. Oh, and I should add another one. I should add another one. Bob. Code. Bob, use code Cooey because I am broke and I need money from my code and from Alphaline to do things like this. And to show you guys how to get jacked. So use code Cooey as well. Anyways. Boom. Y'all have no clue how sketch this setup is right now. It's absurd, bro. I literally have a tripod in my car. And I'm going to be driving. This is dumb. This is like next level dumb. Yeah, anyways, we're on the way to the gym now. Um, So basically, what we're going to do today... You already saw the last clip. Was, oh my goodness. It's moving. It was filmed the other day. Um before I went to bed. So yeah, it's freaking 12.30. I just got up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's Saturday, so I'm allowed to do that. So we're heading to the gym. Then I got to go check on the house. And then I have to do a little bit of cardio. And then edit the rest of the day. 
until I fall asleep. Oh, can I play music while? So, so my camera's broken actually right now, which sucks. Cause I have to, dang it! Anyways, my camera's broken right now. And because my camera's broken right now, that means I have to use my phone, which kind of sucks. I mean, my phone films in 4K, but it's phone 4K, so you don't get the depth, you don't get the nice colors. It's It actually comes out pretty ugly, as you guys can see. Which also makes things hard, so like, somehow I'm able to play music while filming. Yes, I drive like an 18-year-old high testosterone male. I'm so glad I can cut out what I just did. Bro, that was a little sketch there. That was a little sketch there. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about it though. We're not gonna talk about it. It was, it was something else. This dude drove by was like, what the heck were you just doing? It was awesome. I mean, it saved me a couple seconds that I didn't want to slow down. Oh my goodness. Why is everyone driving 60 on a highway? They're not even going 60. Some people do not deserve to have a driver's license. I'm so glad I can cut out what I just did. If you for some reason think it's a good idea to be driving 60 on a highway when you can be going 70, 80, bro, you don't deserve to have a driver's license. Anyways, yeah, it's gym time. Let's go. Hopefully, if you all have realized by now that caffeine is like the ultimate cheat code. Bro, you're tired, just take a little bit of caffeine and you're good. Two hours of sleep, cool, just bang a rain. Take, go through quick, you're all good. Grab some pre-workout, just wake up, just grab some pre-workout, bro, you'll be ready to run. It is the ultimate cheat code. Especially if you only have like two, three days a week that you have to go crazy on, and the rest of you can just kinda like lay back and chill. If you're able to take no caffeine for like three days in a row, three, four days in a row, I think four days in a row is like the that's like the limit where it starts to get really easy once you get four. Four, I think for me, the fourth day is usually the hardest being off caffeine. After that, bro, it's just easy. So like do a little caffeine cut for like maybe a week. Just make it at least four days. Then you can go back. Bro, caffeine affects you like crazy. It's awesome. It gives you freaking superpowers. Rice Krispies are still the best pre-gym snack ever, ever invented. Like, bro, the inventor of Rice Krispies, K-Logs make so much money off gym rats. Like, bro, I have like m so many of these every week and I'm, I'm not the only one. I'm right at the gym here. I haven't walked in yet, but there's so many people in there that they have their Rice Krispies right before the gym as well. They make an absurd amount off gym rats. We like Rice Krispies. They give you a good pump, and they taste really good. So you cannot complain, really.
got some Taco Bell. Mm, probably need to move y'all back. There you go. Dude, that was a tough workout, though. They have a gym. The AC in that gym is set at 78. It's terrible. And it's 80-something outside right now, and it's humid as heck. It was not a very fun workout. It was hot. It was hot. Got a couple minutes of cardio in, though. Um, yeah, caffeine wore off, sadly. But it was good. First time I took that much pre workout in a while. So it was a good pump. Ah, oh, man. I don't really have anything to rant about right now. I'm supposed to be ranting about a bunch of stuff and that make it entertaining or something like that, but I don't really have that much. So that's just that's just how life goes, you know. Alright, I'm gonna just end it here. I got a bunch of work to do. I gotta edit this whole video. I got it like multiple reels to get ready. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna end it here. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Probably pretty short video besides my rant at the very beginning. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I'm going to be trying to upload a little bit more though and try to do a little bit more relaxed editing so it's easier for me to get it out. And yeah, we'll see We'll see where this takes us. Oh my goodness. Anyways, I'm hungry as heck. It's like 3 o'clock and I haven't eaten yet, so... Adiós.